Hey there and happy Tuesday. I'm coming to you with card number 8 out of 10 for the month of March's set of 10 cards that I demo for you. And um, uh, I'm excited because I got a sweet rainbow card in the mail from my stamping friend Rolanda and that inspired me to make today's card. So um, I'm going to bring to you the rainbow die. So that was my original and I'm like, hey, let's, you know, also show something else. And my blue friend Lisa's here and Tori's here. So I'm actually going to show you kind of a third version color. Like it's the same card, but just what I'm putting underneath. So hi there, Tori and Lisa. Hopefully we'll have more joining in here soon too. I've got my iPad ready to go. And um, uh, even though I'm on card number eight, I tell you, let me move my camera around. Hi there, Terry. Um, I'm on card number eight out of 10, but um, Stephanie Carmichael just emailed me to say, hey, um, my group of friends and I would love to put together a party. So she's going to be my next hostess. So I'll do um, cards eight, nine, and 10, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then um, do her card starting Friday. Okay. So hi there, Donna. So let me show you. This is my friend, uh, my stamping demo friend, Rolanda from Texas. She sent me this great card and I put it on display. I have this shelf unit. So whenever you guys send me cards, um, it sits up there for quite a while and your cards inspire me. So based on that, I put together these cards and I want to show you um, the different papers here. So this is the rainbow glimmer paper and this is the ombre specialty paper. Both of them have that glimmer look. So I'm surprised this isn't called ombre glitter or glimmer paper like this rainbow glimmer paper just because they're both uh, shiny like that um, and so where these things can be found just to help you out um, but before I say that too tomorrow the retiring list comes out hello there Patricia and with that like I always think okay um, the rainbow uh, paper the glimmer paper is that going to be um, something on the retiring list tomorrow I don't know so two o'clock our time here one o'clock mountain time is when the list will be um, um, will be sent out so like as I'm planning projects I'm trying not to plan too far ahead because I kind of want to also show things that are retiring so I can give you last minute ideas but today I'm sticking with the mini catalog here and um, the rainbow of happiness bundle is on page 18 but I'll be honest I'm not using these stamps today um, I thought it would be fun to pull out the happy and heartfelt, which is in here, but I am using these dies. So um, the dies are on page 18. I love the stamp set. And in fact, numerous times I've pulled out different sayings from uh, the stamp set here without using um, the uh, dies to go with it too and then happy and heartfelt oh, I forgot to grab the name but I love how Stampin' Up! has put um, these in alphabetical order in the back so that's on page 51 um, if you like to find things that way um, so yeah I love um, and a lot of you have loved and gotten this stamp set just because of the fun cursive in there so today I'm using all day your way um, and I think that's kind of fun because pretty soon we have to start thinking about um, different um, celebrations I think it would be a great birthday card, but even like graduation, you know, when um, there's a special day for just that person all day your way when we can celebrate graduates and um, and all day your way can be anything that you're celebrating or wanting to celebrate with somebody. Okay, so these specialty papers because I know the first time I ever used the rainbow paper, people were like, oh my goodness, where is that from? So from the annual catalog, so this annual catalog here with that cover on page 135 here, um, this is where we see um, the rainbow paper. And then kind of hidden here is um, the ombre. So um, if you're kind of wondering like, well, what's the difference? Because I've just got kind of like a section of the blue that I made this card out of and a section of this that I made that out of. I want to show you kind of some actual um, packaging to kind of show you the difference. So um, the catalog, I feel like, does a great job of showing the 12 by 12 um, gradient rainbow paper here. And I've just got scraps that I'm cutting up here. And oh my goodness, the ladybugs. It warmed up for one day. Look at my friend here, the ladybug. <laughs> going right in my trash okay so the purple you can see um, it's just you know the rainbow has all the colors and the purple goes from dark to light and then you know you've got some blue some yellow um, and some pink in here so I think these would make great cards as well and so 
um, because I don't know what's on the list, like what if all of a sudden a whole bunch of people order because of the retiring list? So maybe if you're getting my set of 10 this month, you might get some of this, you might get some of this, depending on um, if I have, maybe I have enough on hand right now, or maybe I might need to order, or maybe I can't order because all of a sudden something like this is on the retiring list and sells out tomorrow or something. But anyway, I you guys are so fantastic. I usually try and make cards exactly how I make them to send out to you guys, but every once in a while I have to, you know, sub maybe an accessory or paper, but I always try and use something that's similar, or sometimes I might even use something and go, oh, I like this better than the original. How many times have I done that? Even during a video, I'll switch out things. Um, so the card supplies um, that I'm using today is very basic. Hi there, Lorna, and hi, Lois. Good to see you guys on here. Um, very basic supplies, lots of white. So thick white card base. I like using the thick white for my bases of my cards. I feel like it just gives it a sturdier set up and then basic white to go on top and then this is going to be for the sentiment and then um, because I use kind of more of the calypso and mango on this and then obviously the blue on this this I want to pull in maybe more of the rich razzleberry part of the rainbow paper too so I thought it would be fun to show you guys just you know different looks and how different it can look yet similar um, in in how it's put together um, so the first thing that I want to do is pull out this embossing folder when this came out like that's all I wanted to use and I think I bored you guys to death by using maybe this every day <laughs> because I loved it and so it's like oh I have to get this out I haven't used it for all the painted texture 3d embossing folder and because it's 3d I'm going to um, pull out just my um, cutting pad number one the big thick basic one here um, let me open up my folder here and with this I'm going to put in a um, 3.75 by 5 piece of the basic white and then the only other thing I need because it's a 3D folder is plate number four. So we'll just um, run that through really quick and then because it's a 3D folder it has nice um, thick grooves in there. How fun is that? Doesn't it almost look like um, if it was a frosted cake, like you'd want to just eat it if it was a nice, like creamy frosting. I don't like the icy frostings that are sugary, sugary. I like the creamy ones. <laughs> okay. So we've got that part done and then let me reload my cut and emboss machine with a uh, shim kind of number two and then the cutting plates, which are three. And then I'm going to take that same piece and run it through with some dies. And these are the brilliant rainbow dies. So this is just one big chunk of um, rainbows here, but um, you can see I've used, um, if you remember some of these other things, like a tinier rainbow, some of the clouds, and um, I, I have to use this because I think this is so fun, but I haven't had a way to use it yet. Um, the fun um, accent pieces for just kind of edges and such. So I need to bring back, here it is, that piece that I just ran through with the embossing folder. And I'm just gonna kind of line this up close to the bottom edge and close to the side edge here. And then I'll run that through and then I'll just bring it back so it's in the camera view for you guys. And then I'll just oops, lift this up and have this. Sometimes when these line up, guys, I don't know if this will um, make sense to you guys, but I have a jacket in my closet that's North Face. So if you have somebody in your life that's really into the North Face um, logo or their athletic products and stuff, um, this might be like a fun way to repurpose these pieces of white to make a North Face logo for somebody. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like big into it, but I like that coat. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we'll just bring this over and really it's a simple card today uh, I wanted something wow and it kind of turned out simple but I'm not disappointed and I know you guys often say that too like you like the wow cards that aren't the hardest in the world to put together so I'm just gonna run my seal kind of along the edges here um, a little bit just so I have um, some sticky stick to um, make uh, stick right onto this. Oh, this is cut um, three inches by five inches um, if you want to know that. So it's going to be kind of a close fit um, both top to top and then um, where the rainbows come together. But I don't want to waste any because um, I can easily get quite a few cuts in one 12 by 12 piece of paper doing that. So how fun is that? And then I just flip it over 
and add some dimensionals um, kind of in all four corners here like so and then a couple down the middle just to kind of pop that up off the basic white here like so and actually this kind of went up a little bit sometimes that happens where I'm just off a smidge I'm just going to trim that down underneath there okay that way it's not sticking up it's easier to do that now than um, after I've got my card assembled and put down there okay so we've got that hi there Pam good to see you on here all right so now this is like very colorful and stuff and I don't want to take away from this big central um, block of color and um, splash of shiny so I thought let's just kind of do something with the sentiment here and on the same page as these dies in the mini catalog is that cloud punch so I thought let's try and match up one of the colors that's in the rainbow here and pull out the ink pad so for this card I'm going to use rich razzleberry and so oh thank you Patricia yeah really fun and bright um, and then from the happy and heartfelt um, like I said I would use the all day your way and I love the little Kind of um, uh, flourish that is on there too. So all day, whoops, let me get some ice, uh, some light on there. All day your way, and kind of that little thing look makes it look like it's on a fluffy cloud for some reason in my mind. So I just have these laid out. So if you wonder why is Calypso Coral and Knight of Navy laid out, it's so that I can um, remind myself to tell you that's what I use for the ink on this card and this card. So Calypso Coral and the Knight of Navy there. And then I'll just open up this and that easily fits in the cloud punch like so, so I can see that it's centered. I'll give it a punch like that. And then I'll flip that over and just put a couple dimensionals on that. And then that's ready to pop up kind of right over top the top of the rainbow like like that so then that all coordinates that way and now for embellishments this is something that I just ran across the other day and it wasn't like oh I need to use those up but today when I was looking for an embellishment I went I know I just ran across those the other day so the artistry um, artistry blooms adhesive back sequins um, kind of come in all these colors that I've worked with today so I used these um, on the Calypso Coral card and then I use the lighter blue ones on here and what's kind of fun I don't know if my camera will pick this up with the lighting but you can kind of see it's a greenish blue which I think adds just um, a fun touch because this paper is ombre and it just kind of adds even more um, depth to that hi there Connie so for this one I'm going to use um, these little pieces here too so um, when you buy them you'll get like one sheet of this one sheet of this one sheet of this and i think there's even maybe a yellow um but i've used them all up so then i kind of divide them out and put them into their own little tray so even though um, i have them looking like this that isn't the way they're packaged um so then let me just grab my take your pick tool i'm just going to grab one of the big ones and then actually i'm gonna pull over um, a couple of these that are smaller in a different color just to kind of highlight that rainbow look so let me put like a couple of these oops on like so and then one of these that actually matches like that so I think it looks kind of fun to have a rainbow spattering of those sequins on there like that now for the inside usually um, oh thanks Pam yeah I feel like this just the sentiment um, has been really popular for people that have been ordering and I love the um, variety of sentiments that can be for so many different occasions in the happy and heartfelt stamp set um, so with that the all day your way like I said it could be birthday it could be just any kind of special occasion um, so for the inside, I'm actually going to leave this completely blank, which kind of bugs me a little bit because you guys know me, I like doing something, either some kind of um, 
like a stamped image in there or sentiment, but keeping it blank in the inside for today, then you, when you're using the card, can use it for happy birthday or graduation, um, you know, retirement. This would make a fun retirement card too, because all day your way would, would be for something like that too. So I hope it doesn't seem too simple, but like um, I always say with my cards, I want them to be super versatile when you receive them. So that's card number eight out of 10. So I kind of want to show you now I'll line them all up, all three of them. So how kind of different they look, but obviously very similar. And you can definitely tell which ones are rainbow versus the ombre and such. And depending on how you cut all of these, um, when you're cutting the five inch by three inch um, spots, then you'll just kind of see different color gradation on that too. So that's kind of fun. Um, so with that being card number eight out of 10, like I said, the next couple days, I'll do nine and 10 and finish the month strong for that. And how you can get the set of 10 cards is uh, place a minimum order of $75 using the host code or contact me and just um, remind me to use this code. And then um, um, if you just want the set of cards and you don't need to order, you can get the set of 10 cards for $25 and uh, that will uh, get mailed out to you for me unless you're local and I might just end up dropping off and visiting you too. Um, and then coming up, like I said, Friday, I have Stephanie Carmichael um, with a virtual party. So I'll start demoing those three cards. So what I thought was going to be maybe just three more cards for the month is en ending up to be six more cards too. So thanks, Lisa. Um, uh, um, here it is about, let's see, uh, I started my video at 2.30, Patricia, so 8.45 p.m. So yeah, um, I always, I usually know the time difference because of my host family that lives in Holland, but um, with the time change, sometimes that throws me off. So, and Tori, I know you love rainbows, so I thought of you when I was making this card, that's kind of fun to have another idea using rainbows and such too. So um, that'll be great. And I'm, I'm curious what I can find to use with those like uh, negative images that I cut out maybe nothing but if you know me well I will hang on to them for quite a, a long time before I figure something out too <laughs> oh thanks Pam you're so sweet so um yeah so I will be back um tomorrow's gonna be a busy day it'll be later when I do a live video card um it'll be later in the afternoon or early evening because when the list posts at two o'clock I don't want to do a card till I know it's gonna be on that retiring list so when the list posts at two o'clock I'm gonna try and grab links and email those out put it on my Facebook page here make sure that you guys are all set then I actually want to take some time and sit down and look because as a demonstrator I am able to look at the brand new annual catalog for the first time the one that will start in May early May um, and I want to just take some time to do that and then I'll refocus put a card together for you guys so it'll be a fun busy day and of course I'm gonna be home I don't want to go anywhere um, so that I can help you place orders because keep in mind when that retiring list post things go super fast. So that's why I don't want to really plan too much because I want to be able to help people if they're having problems with placing their own orders or if I am placing it for you, I just want to make sure that I'm available. So um, if you have any questions with that, when you see all the information, uh, let me know. But otherwise I hear a little voice that sounds like a four-year-old in the background that just arrived. So I think I might go say hi to him. Take care guys. See you later. Bye-bye.